uh, recap of Houston. Uh, start with the Houston match. That was a big win for us um, in a lot of ways, and a match that meant a lot to me in a lot of ways. But, I mean, in terms of our play, that was, I think, the best that we've played all season, not necessarily the most consistent. But the first set for us, we hit over a 400 as a team. And so, for me, that was the cleanest set that we've played all year. Second set, we were still on that trend where we went down. Um, but then one of the things that our team did a really good job of is they just didn't give up. We fought until the end, and we had, I think, it was a handful, I think four players that had double-doubles. And so just across the board, everybody was um, invested. Everybody gave everything they had from the court to the sideline, and it showed. And then we go into day two against Northwestern State, and it is a completely different story. One that, you know, after the match talking with the team, the first words that they talk about, um, they were pissed, which, I mean, it, it was not a great performance for us. And it's it's learning to piece back-to-back -to -back days together. It's learning to, um, I told them I was, I was worried going into the match, you know, with Houston, I had a really good feeling, you know, walking down the tunnel, getting off the bus. I just, I was calm. I, I felt good. It was the same feeling I told them that I had with Rice last year. And, you know, after a five set match, high emotions, a lot of physical play. You don't know how the next day is going to go. You don't know how they're going to respond. And with us, you know, still being somewhat inexperienced and leaning on a lot of younger players, it could have gone either way. And unfortunately, it went the opposite way of what I would liked. But there is a lot that we can learn from it. And like I told them, we can't lose the same way twice. And so moving forward, we've got to see where we got beat, which we watched yesterday um, in film, talk through it. And I think they're in a really good place moving forward. So going between the two games, when you kind of review the Northwestern game, how much of it of that hangover feeling do you feel is kind of a cause of that result? In terms of like the play, seeing like you said, like you said, high emotion, very physical, and then the next day differently. How much of it was all that emotion and all that physicality kind of being worked on there, worked on that game, and then there wasn't all that much in the tank for Northwestern State. Yeah, so I, I think from what I've gathered with the team and, you know, I preach we go into every match as if it's, I mean, the best team in the nation. We go um, as if we are the underdog no matter what. And I told them that, you know, I, I put a schedule together that is going to be very balanced with what we see in conference. We are going to have tougher matches. We are going to have matches that are similar to um, – just not our style of play and what we're used to seeing all the time. And so for me, it's, you know, Houston's in the Big 12. It's a bigger name. It's more exciting. And, you know, we kept telling them Northwestern State, they're an in-state team. They they're, could be a rival game if you look at it that way. And so I think the difference from what I've gathered from the team is there wasn't as much excitement because – they're not in the Big 12, um, which we can't go into any match that way because at the end of the day, no matter who we face, we still need to win. And I think just talking with the team yesterday, it's having that mindset of setting goals of um, we're going to go beat these teams in three. We're going to hold them to certain numbers. We're going to put uh, certain numbers on the board statistically, whether it's individuals or teams. How much of the up and down is possibly – still from the fact that you're basically still playing without your quarterback. What you expected to have that day. Right. Um Unfortunately, I think it is. I think um, the setters that we have running right now, you know, an inexperienced senior setter, she just never set for us. She was moved into a DS role. And then a freshman setter. I think, you know, talking with them and talking with players, watching film and just seeing it as it's live, uh, there is still a really big learning curve for them. And, you know, I found myself um, – saying the same thing to them over and over. And at some point it will retain. Um, I just hope that it is at the right time, but it's for me right now, it's just being completely locked into the entire match. Cause 
Um, right now, things that we've seen, it's the quarterback has to be locked in the entire game. They're the ones running the offense, and we were we lacked that against Northwestern State. But against Houston, it was phenomenal across the board. Everyone was locked in, ready to go. They were focused. And so just having conversations with them and trying to get that a little bit more consistent. You talked a little bit about, like, feeling like your team was a little bit more locked in for the Houston game versus the Northwestern State game. Like, how do you prepare them to kind of remain even keel and having an emotional intelligence about, like, don't make this the, the big game and the next one to not be, you know, as important? Yeah, I think it's I mean, it's I think it's tough for kids this age that, you know, they they see things through a different lens. Um, and so we we try to be as consistent with po as possible. We put them through the same routine. We go through film and scout and just everything the same way and not treating it any different depending on what team it is. Um, but just I think going back and having conversations about the the match itself and just trying to get their viewpoints on it because it was it was a tough match to watch for me you know I told them or asked them what can I do different because I'm trying to breathe life into you and tell you guys all these things and you don't want to be on the other side of this and let's go reverse sweep and then we go and win the third set and just trying to you know as much as you can keep them even kill and just mentally in it no matter who we face. Speaking of who you're facing, another in-state opponent this time, that niece. What are some of the things that kind of stood out with stood out with them? So I think McNeese, um, just in terms of style of play, they will be similar to Houston. Well, really, Northwestern State, too. They are very pin-heavy, meaning they're going to set their outsides a lot. Um, and I, I just based off a conversation with the team yesterday, they don't want to lose the same way twice. They're not happy with the results and just their performance in Northwestern State. Um, and so I I really don't see the same thing happening twice because, you know, after we played Tulane, we had the same conversation. Um, and the girls, we went back and we made those adjustments. And so we focused on some yesterday in our repair day and practice. And then uh, just the way that this week is set up now, we will practice today. And, you know, we're going to hit on some of those too. But just letting them know this is a big game no matter who we face and it is an in-state rival and we need to prepare for them the same and go get a win.